Hi and welcome to Visual Basic Tutorial of a Login System. This login system was developed with an array and a do while loop. Now I've entered my first details in there and this happens to be an incorrect details. If I click on login, there we go. You see the system rejected it. So let's say we enter Carlton and know that wrong details there the system rejected that as well and let's enter st john primary school let's put a shoot there and there that is another login details however if we run the system and enter the valid details let's enter maybe one of the correct ones that will be London and in there two three four five six seven there the system logs you on straight onto the travel management system so what I'm going to do now is to take you guys straight into Visual Basic Development Environment and we put one of these beautiful tutorials together. So let's do that now guys. Hi and welcome to Visual Basic Tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to develop a login system using do while loop with array. So let me start by clicking on new project. And let's give our project a name. So I'm going to call it VB underscore log login and now we enter do W underscore array there now let's make sure we select Windows Forms application click on OK and we wait for our form to load up Okay, now the form is ready. Let's change the form size to 1386 by 800. And the other thing I'd like to do is let's just enter a name there login systems. Then let's go straight into project and select add new item. And in there, I'm going to select Windows and just click on Add. That's my second form. And I'll change the size to 1386 as well by 800. There. So let's come to Form 1 and design the interface of the form of Form 1 as follows. So I'm going to add a panel. it that much and let's change the color of that panel the back color I'm going to change that to control dark dark right there let's copy it across hold down the control drag and copy take it right down and I also need another panel right in there here one more panel here and let's change the border style of this very panel to fix 3D and maybe one more panel here and change the border style and the color to control that dark border style fix 3D black color control that dark and in there let's add label here we need two of those and text box two text box one and two we also need three buttons one two and three so let's speed up the design of this part of it so I'm going to enter data in there and enter another data in it so let me just speed it all up okay this is how the interface looks now and the second form this is how the second form looks the second form 
is a travel management system. I have the tutorial of this on YouTube for you guys. So let's go back into the main program. The main program is all about creating the login details with array and uh, do while loop. So let's double click on login. Before I start, let me declare as follows team check us as integer so checkers must be declared as integer and assign a value straight to checkers the next thing is let's declare them username so let's make that an array as string okay and that will be equals say the string is equals to say Paul and enter a comma here okay that is the first part of it and the second part let's declare let's say dim password Enter parentheses to denote array. Let's make a string equals, and that is going to be let's say one, two, three, four, five, six as the first one, and the second one is going to be two, three, four, five, six, seven, comma, and the third one. Let's go for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and there. So the next thing I like to do now is let me declare the following theme attempts. Let's say attempts as integer. Let's put a value of zero. I'm also going to create, let's say, travel. That's going to be an object travel new form 2 all right that's my object for form 2 now let's start with okay let's say do one at times will be less than and equals to 3 because I intend to give the user 3 attempts so attempts equals attempt plus one now let's assign password let's say password dot contains and what does it contains that will contains txt password dot text so that's the first one uh, what's happening in there is whatever I have inside the text box is assigned into this variable password. So I'm going to repeat the same thing for user dot contains txt user dot text there. So now let's use an if statement to validate whatever we have inside username username dot if username dot contains txt user dot text okay txt user dot text that's for the password and let's say and if it does contains password okay so let's continue take care of that error and just enter else and there so that should take care of that for now all right so now the next thing is if all of the content inside the text box user text box and the password if it's correct or if it matches what we have inside these two very these two arrays then i want travel this very one I want you to show dot show and me 
me referring that means I'm referring to the form dot hide so if we want we can also clear this let's just clear this one user dot clear dot clear and let's clear the text box as well dot clear right okay supposing the data you enter is invalid so in here let's use else if or else let's say else if it's invalid just clear the old content and let's set focus to user dot focus so what we want the system to then do is to loop okay the system loops in this case then underneath here let's say checkers equals or let's just say plus equals one that is for checkers now we can then use an if statement to validate the rest of the the rest of the condition so let's say if checkers itself equals three then application dot exit there yeah, that's all there is to it now I'm gonna copy this let's copy this for the resets coming here double click on the reset paste that right in there that's for reset let's take care of the exit in the case of exit we can just say uh, then I exit as dialog result I exit equals message box dot show show and just say confirm if you want to exit right so comma let's give that a name login system now the next thing is let's use an visual basic built-in system of message box okay message box button and let's use another built-in system of message box icon which is this one let's go for exclamation there we go and in here if the selected option is yes so if exit equals dialog result dot yes then application dot exit so that's the exit taken care of okay instead of just adding application exit so you give you your end user an option to select yes or no that's what this one is all about now let's run the program and see if it's correct that's how you play it anyway and in here these are the lines of code for the that's an array for the login system and two variables sorry the first variable is an, uh, an object created for the form using do while loop to get things going okay that's all there is to it so let me just run it okay guys let's first of all enter invalid data in there one first attempt second attempt and that's the third attempt so that means you got it wrong so the system will log you off now let's try any of these password maybe let's pick on london or good man let's go for good man and good man is three four five six seven eight there we go guys you see now we get that right let's try another one just to confirm well let's try to mix them both let's say Paul and we enter Goodman's 
this is the 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. No, the system did not accept that. But if we enter Paul and then enter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, there we go. And that's how you develop your own login system using arrays and a do while loop. So with that guys, I'm going to call it the end of this tutorial. I suppose you guys enjoyed it. And you all have a nice day now. And bye for now.